Okay, great. Then we're carrying on with general journal, and today we have to do transfer between a debtor and a creditor. So what are we talking about? I'm using the example in the FET notes, right? So they have Pronto and ZZ. Look, we are looking from the point of view of ZZ traders, so we are doing the books of them. So what has happened is that Pronto is a business, and they came to ZZ, and they bought for 4,200 rand. So they are owing ZZ 4,200 rand. So they are a debtor in ZZ's book for 4,200 rand. So they've got a debtor Pronto who owes 4,200 rand. Then ZZ went to the same company Pronto and owes them 1,250. So they've got Pronto as a creditor in their books as 1250 that they are owing pronto. So they've got the same business, right, as a debtor and as a creditor. So here in ZZ's books, they've got pronto as a debtor and they've got pronto as a creditor. So pronto is owing them an amount of 4,200 rand and ZZ is owing them 1,250 rand. So what they do is they don't pay the full amounts, they cancel the two amounts off from each other. So you can see here the debtor owes Pronto, the debtor Pronto is owing 4,200 rand. And then ZZ is owing them 1,250. So what they do is they take that 1,250 and they transfer it to the debtor. So then they just minus it from the account and then they owe 2950. So if you minus that one, 1250, you're taking it off that account. Now you are owing them. Now they are owing 2950. So what has happened is that the debtor pronto was owing 4200 rand, but we owe them 1250. So we take the creditor amount out, we take it out, we don't go and pay them the 1250. We're cancelling it off from that amount and we're owing them now. Actually, Pronto is owing now 2950. Okay, so let's go through the example and then it will become clearer. Okay, so now I'm in your FET recovery work. So again, we're clicking on general journal, right? And then we're going to, now we're going to lesson 42. So we are in lesson 42 here. Yeah. Sorry, we click on lesson 42. It will say general journal transfer between debtors and creditors. When you've got time, you can read through this. It's what I've said in the beginning of the video. I want to do the example with you, okay? So in the information in ZZ Books for May 2012, the debtors list means that people that are owing ZZ money, S now, this one, that one, that one. Pronto is who we are concentrating on pronto distributors owe ZZ 4,200 rand. Then we have a creditors list and look pronto comes up again pronto distributors we are owing them 1,250. So what can happen is say for instance pronto sells groceries right and we selling packaging okay so what has happened that pronto came to us and bought a whole lot of packaging and owes ZZ traders 4,200 rand and we went to Pronto and bought groceries and we owe them 1,250 rand. So what you're doing is you're making a transfer between the debtors and the creditors so that you don't, so Pronto is not gonna come and pay us 4,200 rand and we're gonna go pay them 1,250 rand. We're going to cancel those accounts off, right? So simple. So all you need to do is put it into the general ledger. And I've showed you in the earlier part of the video how, I, how they come to 1250. So they've taken uh, 4,200 and they have transferred 1250 and minus it from there. So let's look at the transfer in the general journal, right? Here's the general journal. So what they've done is they've taken Pronto distributors and debited them with 1250, okay? And they've put it in the creditors control. So they've debited the creditors control with the with the Pronto's amount of 1250. And then they credited the debtors control with 1250. Right? So let's look at what has happened here. Okay, if it's confusing you there. You see this amount here for 1250, right? It's 
it's an amount owing on the creditors list so we have a credit balance it's a liability so to cancel the liability off what they're doing is they are debiting the creditors control right and where are we going to put it we're going to put it into the debtors control so we're going to put the 1250 into the uh, uh, we debited the, the creditors control and we're going to credit our debtors control so it's a transfer balance to the debtors ledger so let's look what happened in the debtors ledger right pronto distributors was owing us 4200 then so we credited them with 1250 with the amount that we were owing them and now they owe us 2950 that's simple right in the creditors ledger Right, we were owing them 1250. And what happened? We didn't put in a payment of 1250. Normally, when you put in a payment into your creditor's ledger, then you put your bank, your um, your receipt number, and you're putting a payment there, and then you're reducing the account, right? This is the amount we are owing to Pronto. So we've debited that amount, we've cancelled it off. And we've reduced the debtors ledger by that one to five oh so let's look in the general ledger so the t accounts come here so in the debtors control the journal credits are we have debited the debt the creditors control and we've credited the debtors control so we have transferred money from the creditors control into the debtors control 